Hi. 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 Do you want to have fun with statistics? Sure. Yeah. Right, so we're going to play a game. Um, what I have in this bag is 25 objects, and I want to work out the weight of the bag. So I could simply just weigh the bag. That would be the obvious thing to do. But what if there were 10,000 objects? You wouldn't want to weigh all of them, would you? No. no. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample. So a sample is just a way of saying that we're going to draw some of the objects and look at them. So what I want you to do is reach into the bag, rummage around, and draw out three objects, and then we'll get you to draw out two. Okay. So don't look. Uh, and you have a go. Right, and then put them in the bowl. Right, so what's the weight on the scale there? Uh, it's 70 grams. <laughs> so we know there are 25 objects and we've just weighed five of them. So how can we use the weight of five to get the weight of the 25? Multiply by five. Multiply by five. So what's 70 times five? Uh, there's a calculator if you'd like. Uh, 350 grams. 350 grams, okay. So we can now check that against the truth by weighing everything in the bag, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what's the actual weight of the objects in the bag? Uh, 208 grams. 208 grams. So your estimate was 350, which is much higher than the truth, which is 208. What do you notice about the objects in the bag? There's some big, there's some small. Yep. So when you took your sample of five, you had three big objects and two small objects. However, if you look in the bowl, you'll notice there's only five large objects. So you had a biased sample. The sample you took of the bag didn't represent the objects in the bag. So from a biased sample, you have then got a biased estimate of the total weight of the bag. Now, this is really important to understand because whenever we take samples, we always have to make sure that they represent the population we're interested in. You might ask, when does this come up in practice? Well, in the UK, we have the census, which tells us how many people live in a certain area and often broken down by age and by sex. So we know some things about the population, but not everything. So when we take a sample, we need to make sure that that sample represents the population of that area or even of the entire UK. Okay. Oh. Um, you can have a pen or a ruler if you'd like. Okay. Oh. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you.